Next up in our keyframe assistant menu is the exponential scale. Um, that works by taking your scale property and let's say we want to take a scale from 100 and we wanted to animate it all the way off of the canvas. So we would expand it all the way as far as we could. Now when we hit play, we can see that it almost seems to have an easing as it reaches the end of its animation. Um, and that's just because of the way that the scale property works within After Effects. So what we can do is select our scale layer or our scale keyframes by clicking right on the scale property. You can also click and drag to select them. And if we right click and go to keyframe assistant, we can go to exponential scale. Now what this does is it does some math behind the scenes and adds keyframes to each and every frame in between your first and last. And now we have a constant speed from start to finish. Um, so we can actually undo that. And let's just duplicate this so we can see the difference. And we'll make this one a, make this one a red color. So here we have our standard scale keyframes. We'll name that standard. And we have our exponential. So we're gonna right click, go to keyframe assistant, exponential scale on our bottom layer. And we'll be able to see the difference in how these two different layers animate. So we can see that the standard layer seems to start off quicker and then slow down almost like it has an easing even though it is a linear keyframe. But our bottom layer, which is the yellow, is exponential. So it has the same constant multiplication value on the scale property, giving it a constant speed all the way. And similar to our eased keyframes and linear keyframes earlier, they both start and end at the same spot, but the motion that you get between them feels a lot different. This is useful if you want to make sort of a looping tunnel animation. So you can duplicate our layer here and shift it down one and a half seconds. So as we're going through, we kind of have this persistent ripple that's coming out. And you can duplicate this and shift it and offset it as many times as you want. And you can almost create like an infinite tunnel animation.